it's going to be kind of hard to see just because we're not turning on our lights. Uh, we don't want to be a distraction out here, and there are a lot of people uh, that are very, they have their emotions running extremely high. So anytime these lights come on, uh, you see people running towards uh, the cameras, and then they start screaming, and they've got a bullhorn. So uh, you see that behind me. Uh, that's where they're counting those 400,000 ballots that are still outstanding. And one of the things that we've seen is uh, right now they're, they're kneeling in prayer, but one of the things that we've seen is uh, them chanting very loudly, count that vote, count that vote. Uh, and then we've got poll workers that are coming off of shift and the poll workers have to be escorted out by uh, armed sheriff's deputies. We're gonna get a little bit closer here. We don't wanna get too close. Uh, a lot of people uh, in the crowd are, are, are not wearing masks. We're, we're keeping a, a respectful distance, um, but a loud and very boisterous crowd. Gotti, I know it may be a little bit hard for you to hear me because you're in the middle of that crowd. So let me know if you're having trouble, but are, are, is what you have seen or is what people are attempting there intimidation? So far, uh, this is Arizona, and so if you take a look over here, um, a lot of times at these types of rallies, you see a lot of guns. You see a lot of uh, people with, with long guns, long rifles slung over their shoulders. This is a uh, open carry state, so it's totally legal, and we don't see any of that. So there are no uh, people with guns. So far, it's a very boisterous crowd, They're very aggressive. They've got bullhorns, and they will uh, let you know exactly how they feel. Gotti Schwartz, incredible reporting, and thank you so much much for doing that walk uh, with your crew and thank you to your crew as well. I know that you are in sometimes what's a really uncomfortable position out there with all those people being really aggro with you. Please stay safe and thank you for doing this work for us tonight. It's just incredibly, incredibly invaluable. I want to start here because this is what it's about. This is American democracy. What you are seeing here are the good people of the Maricopa County Elections Department doing the count. I'm going to swing you over this way. Uh, this is my producer, Kim Berryman. She's talking about how we're going to get out of this building. There is an exit plan being formed because what's happening beyond those doors right there, and you can see that that is closed up, that shade has been dropped, is that outside there is a very sizable protest. Um, if you look at the aerial pictures from our affiliate, it's very big. These people parked in that parking lot. Mm -hmm. uh, how are they going get, to get the cars out of there? That, that number one, when they when they finish this count, and I should add that this is a crowd that is armed. There are a number of people out there who have been seen with long guns, with automatic, uh, semi-automatic rifles. And we don't see any of that, so there are no uh, people with guns. There are a number of people out there who have been seen with long guns, with automatic, uh, semi-automatic rifles. What is their message? You know, there's a lot of chanting uh, uh, that, that they want Trump, uh, a lot of flags being waved, Trump flags. Um, it, you know, it's, it, we, we heard uh, people singing YMCA for a little while. Mr. President, I can't believe uh, that you'd be happy with that on your behalf literally chilling a democracy that you know is fundamental to how we pick our next president. Is that the atmosphere you want? Oh my God. I mean, have you ever seen such obvious theater? She's completely fake. I mean, that is acting from a bad actor. And this is what we're seeing from CNN and MSNBC today as protests, peaceful protests, begin to gather at some of these places where they're counting votes. As we all know, the only legitimate protest is one that comes from the left and is pushing a left-wing Democrat Party agenda. So I just wanted to kind of quickly go through all the reasons that these reports that are coming out from CNN and MSNBC are just complete propaganda not to be believed. Uh, you'll notice in this video that the reporter, quote reporter, acts like she's in distress the whole time, like almost like she's hiding in this building. And uh, she goes on to uh, describe the people that are counting votes as the good people, the good Americans. And then, you know, looks back towards this door where on the other side there's protesters. And it just does, their, does her best to discredit them and make them seem scary. She also at one point calls it a sizable protest and then shows video of what looks like a really tiny protest. Just a few people. I mean, looking at that, it looks like less than 50 people. Which I think is interesting because normally the media would be downplaying the size of any protest coming from their opposition. But in this case, she's trying to pump it up like it's a lot bigger than it, it obviously is. She puts a cherry on top of this propaganda shit pile by erroneously claiming that these protesters are armed, 
with, quote, long guns, and then she starts to say automatic and then changes it to semi-automatic. The problem is, there weren't any protesters armed, at least as far as we know. There's no video or pictures of anybody from that protest that were armed. And just the height of irony of both of these pieces from CNN and MSNBC is that these same places had no problems with the violence, the destroying, the killing, and the beating, the intimidation of innocent people from BLM and Antifa and these other left-wing groups. No, no, no. With them, we're told that it's mostly peaceful, even as buildings are burning in the background. And they obviously do this as a way of diminishing the violence or the negative impact that might come back on Democrats from that violence, and also to gaslight those who know better. Okay, so that's the CNN piece. Let's take a look at this MSNBC piece. Gotti's in the middle of quite a, quite a crowd there. Gotti, what's going on? Rachel, it's going to be kind of hard to see just because we're not turning on our lights. Uh, we don't want to be a distraction out here, and there are a lot of people uh, that are very, they have their emotions running extremely high. So anytime these lights come on, uh, you see people running towards uh, the cameras, and then they start screaming, and they've got a bullhorn. So. Okay, so my takeaway from this is that these clearly peaceful protesters are actually screaming maniacs who will attack sources of light like a horde of zombies. Are you you kidding me? It's very telling that his major complaint here seems to be that these people are kind of loud when they chant. One of the things that we've seen is uh, them chanting very loudly, count that vote, count that vote. So we're, we're keeping a, a respectful distance, um, but a loud and very boisterous crowd. But so far, it's a very boisterous crowd, They're very aggressive. They've got bullhorns. Meanwhile, this exact same guy went out of his way to describe a violent occupation of a portion of Seattle by left-wing extremists as a, quote, street fair, while the violent extremists themselves shout him down for it. Street festival type atmosphere. No, with a very it is intentional, not a street festival. With a very intentional purpose. It is not a street festival. With it is not a street festival. Do not say that. Please, Shame on not. you for saying that. Learn right now. It is not a street festival. Would you look at that? He's got a bullhorn. Yet this reporter seems to take no issue with that this time. Are you kidding me? This guy is really trying to make these quiet, kneeling, peaceful protesters seem like they're out of control, constantly accusing them of being loud and chanting loudly. Okay, I can't take any more of this. I mean, these people who are clearly peaceful were never once described as peaceful by these two hacks, but rather loud, boisterous, and aggressive. I'm not sure exactly what was aggressive there besides the fact that they were loud. All right, that's all I can take of this. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can find all the links for doing that in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.